Hey folks, Carrick here and welcome back to more Darksiders. Now it has been said that a great philosopher once said, My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. In this case it's not so much a milkshake as a chosen heart. Not so much a yard as Samuel's prison. And not so much boys as great big steaming demons. However, other than that it's probably quite close, so... How about we give that heart to the old bugger? One more, just one more, and then more. You get your tower. Silitha's web-infested lair is far across the great chasm in the Ashlands. Ruin has yet to regain much of his strength, but he will make the distance. As for Silitha, just get there, and she'll find you, the Broodmother is a collector of sorts. Most who enter her realm, she feeds to her young, the one she takes an interest in. <laughs> ah, those are the unlucky ones. Those she keeps alive, and they can live a long time. Long enough to tell her things. You could say she collects stories, information. What stories will she tell me about you, Samael? Careful, or your ending will be a tragic one. Sometimes the hero dies in the end. But Horseman, I like stories that have a happy ending. Now bring me the final heart. That boy has got a temper. Alright, so Ashlands it is then, I guess. We may as well mind up on our lovely little pony. Not too bothered about these, I just want to go to Volgrim. Save myself a huge journey. And... Serpent hole we want. Was it up at the end? Or am I going senile? I think I'm going senile. I guess this one's going to be the closest. Oh well. Let's just get on with the bloody thing. So, last boss. Also, pretty much the last item we're going to pick up in the game. Which means we'll have a joyous session of being able to go back through and pick up all the abyssal shards and stuff. Which should be cool. Hell of a lot of missing road in this one. No big problem. Especially not when you've got floaty wings. I guess we're going to have to pretty much just make our way through the Ashlands. Although, I suppose the nice thing about that is we get to kill these worms. Which is always good. I haven't got any kind of a complaint with that. Eh? They're all gone! Oh. Kind of looking forward to that actually. Don't run into the wall. Just shit shit. Oh, 
Or we could chop our way through, which is probably a hell of a lot quicker. Either way, I'm having the damn chest. Don't care what anybody says. Just gonna have a quick check through this area while I can. I don't think there's anything else. We do really need the grappling hook before we can do too much more. But there probably will be the occasional chest we can pick up, so we may as well. Kind of nice being able to ride on this area. Considering how much we couldn't actually touch before. Had to be a land bridge, didn't it? Kind of makes me wonder where the hell the worms actually went to. Very strange indeed. I thought they'd left one in. One in each section that it was in before. Purely for the joy of killing these damn things. It's probably one of the most fun things you can do in the game. Right, so that's over there. But we don't want to go there just yet because I saw some grippy stuff over here. Which means we have an explorable section. There we go. What goodies have you got for me? Okay, nothing so far. No bombs. We've well, got torches. Really nothing? I vaguely remember this bit before. I have a feeling there's a bomb up above, but at this moment in time I don't know how to get up there. Which ain't good. Which ain't good at all. Ah, of course. Goblin hook! I can't do it yet. Wonderful. Still, at least we know there's something here on the way back. Get up. It's probably not. Probably not even the right way. Yeah, it was. Have to do it the old fashioned way, I guess. Right. Just thread your way around the path, basically, and eventually you come to the big jumpy bit, which you want to be going at full tilt for. And just circle him around. Make a jump easy enough. And if we pretty much go full speed here, we can access these soul bridges. There we go. One pretty effect later and we're on the other side.
as you can tell by the huge amounts of spiders webs we're getting closer to Celeste's lair I actually find this part of the game probably one of the most annoying I keep seeing moving shadows along the bottom I'm wondering if at any point she's actually walking along the top probably not should just hit speed here. Well, I, I don't think there's anything worth slowing down for. Not yet anyway. Guess that's one way to make your way into your lair. Kind of disappointed you get caught so easily, War. You weren't supposed to. Still, I suppose, considering we can't really get access to this area without... The next item. Not much really we can do. Quite a big area this, quite a few new area, quite a few new enemies in it as well. Some of them cool, some of them oh, yeah. not so bloody cool. Doesn't look like you can do anything against tall, dark and gruesome yet. Best to avoid it for now. Of which these are new. These are kind of weird spidery things that pretty much attack whenever you're on the ground or you make a noise best to stay the hell away from them at this minute in time we can't actually hurt them because of that hard shell on the outside before we go any further through this area yeah I wish those things wouldn't regrow yeah nowhere else we can go that's fair enough just check in Get some of these little beggars to come a bit closer. You tend to find whenever you attack any of the small spiders, they all come running at you, so do be aware of that. There's never really enough in a room for it to be a problem. As you can see, just doing absolutely nothing to them. And if you go down onto the bottom area, he'll drop and have a little chew on us. Um, what do I want? I want you. And with time slowed, we can sneak through. Those are creepy, creepy boggers. Very freaky indeed. I don't think they even have bloody eyes. Awful, awful things. Yeah, absolutely nothing we can do to them, so just ignore them. And make our way down. The whole of Celeste's layer to begin with is kind of like a huge big corridor. You'll be guided completely and utterly by the nose through sections. Every time you go through a new section it'll open up a new area. Pretty much standard for dungeons. It's a lot more obvious in this area than it has been. Considering the last area we were in is just over there. Obviously it's quite a long way, oh shit, quite a long way around to go. That bridge is going to break, so we better hurry up.
There's an awful lot of that happens in this section. You'll pretty much be forced into going certain directions. Opens up a hell of a lot once you've got the grappling hook, but at the moment, nothing we can do about it, so continue on, we shall. Die, damn. Quite weird actually, I don't think the little spiders have any kind of a finishing move to them. Certainly nothing I can show you. I think they're classed more like the zombies were in the original section. Alright, anyway, now we're clear. I think we should be able to climb over to the left here. I'm not sure if it's actually an area we need in terms of progression, but there's certainly something over here and I want to explore. No, it's keyed. Oh well. At least we know where to go when we find the actual key. Which I'm guessing is down this way. Quite like the way they use webs as doors in here. I just wish they wouldn't grow back once you walk through. It's quite disconcerting. Lots of little babies. Better to get rid of them now, though. I have a nasty feeling that thing probably spits them out. Some kind of a mob spawner. Hello. Goodbye. Anyway, with that platform now suspended, we can use it pretty much like a seesaw. Why do these things bounce up in the air so much? and get rid of a lot of these little buggers before we make them jump. Last thing I really want to do is miss the jump because one of these little shits has attacked me. It's really the main concern of the little buggers. Other than that they pretty much don't pose a threat whatsoever. So anyway. I can't read some fair enough. I guess we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way, and that wasn't close enough at all. Oh, grab it! Nope, he's not going to. Christ, where the hell are they all coming from? Mind you, I've walked into a big spider's lair and I'm wondering where the babies are coming from. Yeah, clever. Alright, so how exactly am I getting up top? Absolutely millions of them! I was fairly sure we could just jump on that. Whatever it might be from above. I suppose really that would make sense, but... I can't for the life of me see any way to get up top. I might explain it in all fairness. Yep. Oh, you absolute moron! Really not looking where I'm going there at all. I 
I'm not so pleased that there's a Chronomancer device up there as well. It means there's something in this room I desperately want to avoid. Probably one of the most annoying enemies in the game purely because of the numbers the little shits have. Right, obviously I can get up there and there's a way up to the top, fair enough. the last set of these. Okay, just die, 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 die. Just so many of them. So, so many. Right. Jesus, more of them, great. Just kill him, kill him. Right, are we, are we done now? Can we please move on from them? So why the Chronomancer device? Something to do with the left, maybe? Oh, you moron! Quite literally, the worst moment imaginable for an eyelash to come loose. Just felt something in the corner of my eye and went to <laughs> move it as I jumped. Right, shit. Okay, back up we go. Thankfully this shouldn't take too long. And I'm pretty sure this is going to cantilever, so... Oh. You know what? That's why we need the damn thing. Okay. So, stand on this end. Activate you. And once it's gone, we make a run for it, and this end should stay up high enough. So we can make it! Phew. And hopefully that should give us a key, yeah. So what was the lift for then? Oh, another chest. Fine, we'll have you. A map. Wonderful. So what was the weird thing for? No, I'm gonna die if I go down there. Uh, don't know. Anyway, I guess that's just done on this area. Right, we go. Open the door. Progression, progression, progression. Gonna have to stop saying things in terms of freeze. I'm beginning to sound like a bloody MP. 